been the world's strongest man, and Bill Kazmaier was really popular back then. Do you have anything? Oh, Bill? yes, the world's strongest man contest. And I must say that that world's strongest man competition, I uh, can't remember the exact year, we'll look it up. Um, uh, the, the year I went, uh, Lou Ferrigno and Bill Kazmaier were in. The they were they were in it. Yes, big names. yes, and uh, uh, Jeffrey Capes from a England was one of the top uh, finishers, I believe. We really gave Kazmaier a run for his money, and they they had the uh, tug of war. I think was the finishing. Uh, the finishing uh, contest that uh, Kazmaier won. But uh, it was very strange because uh, Kazmaier, during the daily competition, would uh, disappear uh, during competition and go back to his room and, um, uh, and, and it, it, we, we, we found it odd. The rest of the competitors found it odd that he would disappear. And when he came back out into the arena, out into the field to do the different events, he always came back fresher and it seemed to be, uh, seemed to be, uh, like he had just slept 24 hours and had a great meal and was totally rested. And we just, I personally thought he was probably uh, blood doping and, 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 and doing the blood doping and getting the fresh blood and cleaning the blood out and circulating the, and the blood. So uh, I have no proof of that, of course, absolutely zero proof. But it was very ironic, unusual to see Kazmaier disappear for an hour <laughs> and go inside the hotel and then come back out like a fresh brand new person who had, like I said, slept for 24 hours, ate a steak dinner, and is completely rested and, and ready to go, and uh, obviously very, very strong. I mean, you can't take that away and from him. he it. has admitted to uh, steroid use and actually spoken out against steroids since those days, but you're suggesting that there was probably there might have been more than just steroids I believe uh, I believe I believe there was something else going on with Kazmaier because steroids just don't make you uh, f fresh and and energetic and very robust uh, in, within an hour's time you, you know uh, but uh, you were injured in that competition oh I had so many injuries that was the worst that was a nightmare for me I had pulled my calf muscle I had taken uh, cortisone injections into my calves and uh, I pulled a back muscle and, and I pulled my scapula a shoulder blade muscle doing the silver dollar deadlift thousand pound silver dollar deadlift I, I uh, pulled about I think it was over, a little over 800 pounds in silver dollars uh, that, I, that I deadlifted but in the process has pulled loose a muscle from my shoulder blade so it was <laughs> I'll go on record to say it was the most painful experience I had ever had I had no desire to go back and repeat it because I was not really uh, uh, you know I had too many injuries already from wrestling to go into something like that you've got to really be uh, like a Kazmaier or these people who have no or are injury free